Remember, just tell yourself that I'm driving for many other people. I'm not driving for myself. Secondly, think that all those who are around you are blind. Don't <laughs> consider them yes, blind. to be yes. In that way, you will know that you are always, always to be alert. When you're driving and you're picking up the car, that's a problem. People do that all the time. All the time. Sometimes, even, let me tell you, there are some luxurious vehicles in which you find screens. On their back seats, there's, there's four screens mm -hmm. in the car mm -hmm. as a whole. One on the first one on the seat mm -hmm. in front, the one on that's the passenger seat behind. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Then we have one central, one four. Mm -hmm. 
on, on the on the on the four mirror. Yes. That is very expensive. It's very fancy when you look at it. You're like, wow, we are in the US here, or we are in Las Vegas. I bet you when you're getting in under the uh, under the truck that is in front of you, there will be no Las Vegas anymore because you will pour out your blood on the on the on the car. On the car. Like what we saw mm -hmm. yesterday in Bonsoir. Mm -hmm. It was so so. There was blood alarming. everywhere, everywhere. So enough of this. We don't want to see it anymore. Well, I pray that uh, sanctions will be taken for this kind of things. I don't know if people really know the how this is terrible because you see cars. See a bus, a thirty seater, the on top. You never imagine that it was a bus. Mm. It's not as if it doesn't, you know, it's decapotable. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing on top. Like they used an engine saw <laughs> and just cut off the roof. Yes. Roof and said, in it feel free, let air come in. Yes, exactly. It's so sad. it's a situation that uh, we are not. Uh, this is getting really out of hand. Mm -hmm. Even the bike riders are so negligent. It makes me think. Yesterday night too, I had the same problem. I took a taxi. I was going back home. When I arrived, Ferouz, I was seated at this age. I just wanted to hear, boom, next to me, is a car that has hit the taxi in which I was in. Fortunately, uh, not happened. I had to look outside and I saw that it was a car that has hit. So, I mean, this problem of this, uh, uh, the, the light, the, 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 the light, the, 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 yes, that was put That's there. Great. The traffic light that has been removed now, it is, people are just riding anyhow. So lucky that this man did not hit us much. If it was, it would have gone down the road of Ferouge and before you know it, something must have happened. So it's high time people get very, very careful when you have to take their cars. Because some things, some of these things happen. Before you know it, they say, we are looking for you. Where are you? Mm. <laughs> That's it. I'm looking for you. When you, you, you decided to get missing. That your is own. true. Because when, when you are prudent, you wouldn't get lost. Mm. Yes, there are things that, it's even better. I always say this sometimes. Mm. It's better that you take all the precautions mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. before danger meets you. Meets you. you, exactly. Rather than show the big. I know I've, I've been on a highway and I've realized something on highways is that sometimes since the highway is really, I don't know if we even have highways in Cameroon, but our roads. Our oh, roads, yes. Roads. Yes. On our roads in Cameroon, what you realize is that the drivers are really on high speed. Mm -hmm. Like, they are in a haste. Ask me where they are going to. I wouldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. And at the, at the same time, you see some people passing other vehicles, mm -hmm. third position, fourth position, yeah, exactly. fifth position. Mm -hmm on very little lanes. Yes, lanes the lanes are, are very really small. small and at the end of the day you find yourself in very very funny situations sometimes it's a face-to-face -face collision how do you get to that level if you were prudent mm -hmm. if you told yourself that okay even if i get there late the most important thing is that i, I got, got there. there that is it so rather than get there in a coffin why not just go slowly and get to where you're going to safe and sound but late i prefer that way. That is very correct. Thank you, uh, Mariko, for that call. I hope that the thing has got into the ears of some persons because we are not just saying it for saying sake. We are saying so that people should get prudent on the highway. It's high time you take your life. Remember, you live just once. You don't live two times. It's just once that you live. So if you die today, we'll start seeing you. We are looking for you. <laughs> we don't want to see. In fact, I'm not, I don't want to go. I've denied I don't want to go attend funerals or burials of young people who have died in accidents see. because when you see kids who passed on you you see it as very very flat i was so sad yesterday in the east when i saw it and i was asking myself what has this life this child lived so far that mm -hmm. he's going to be early then talk less of the bloodshed on the side but now what is interesting why did it's taking place there are malicious guys that will come on scene and be busy removing money telephones very <laughs> all those things and i'm asking myself that you, you are able to eat the money of a dead man mm. anyway if my recall some people are able to go and dig uh somebody that's buried maybe with money and remove the person with the car what more of this so it's high time we uh be very careful especially those who are riding some of us have never used the car somebody like me my record is talking because she knows exactly how the road looks like i have never used the wheel how to know how to do it if you know that you're not good at that please don't don't get to the road saying that you are trying to test. There's no test. You don't test. You don't fight with iron. You don't test with iron. It's either is it or is it. That's it. Because if you make any mistakes before you know you're dead. People are really on high speed. They're always in a rush. And the worst part is that passengers are the one encouraging them that I am in a rush to get to where I am going to. So hurry, let me get there fast. I was supposed to have a rendezvous at 10 a.m. But look at 8 p.m. You're still in this place. Please, let's be good.
location. If you know you have a rendezvous at eight or leave in the night and travel that we all leave earlier so that you travel. You should not put yourself you, yourself in danger and equally other people in danger by forcing the driver to go fast. Thank you very much, Michael, for that call this afternoon. That uh, I hope is ringing in people's ears, it's, especially those who are coming to Bafusam, you know, going to their villages for the family meeting. People are displacing themselves so much now because they have a reunion with their meeting people, with their village people and their family people, everybody. Um, Miss B, you look, uh, let me look for the word, you look colorful, you look uh, gorgeous, you look elegantly. Yeah, thank you. Elegant is you. Uh, I like the combination this afternoon. I like the match from head to toe. You know, I told you that in the morning. And I meant it. So I like it. <laughs> yes, you know, it's important to change. Yes, to change and feel different. So you just get um, you know, yes, mm. it's better. Mm. Hey, just you. Just be American. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Binda. Thank you, Marika. Once in a while. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. You can't really come all day for, you know, one week. No, you wouldn't. You have uh, that, those things here yeah, like this <laughs> behind your legs. <laughs> I wish they would come around to go right down. No, to pick this thing from up to down. <laughs> But Miss B, even if you have a car, you leave the car there now. If you have to come to your office, you have to you go downstairs, you have to climb up, you have to. But at least the car can come with you, let you go back to where No, we'll not go back to there, Miss B. It's back, forward ever, backward never. never. So. Okay, once in a while, just feel into that's the important thing. It doesn't matter the way, the step I will be. It's very it's important. There, so That's true, and they are feeling you too. Yeah, we're fe <laughs> of course, Miss B, we are feeling you. You know, somebody told me this. Self, so sometimes it's good to feel good. Feel good, <laughs> like Miss B said. Thank you for 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 motivating somebody this afternoon. Say that no, I'm keeping my dresses. No, come out of it. Dress oh. work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, give me a dress to go for Christmas to wait for Christmas. For, Christmas uh, is Christmas uh, yeah. mm -hmm, yeah. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Keep for weddings. Mm -hmm. Keep it. Keep you're not invited <laughs> for a wedding. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> anyway, we need to go there in order to tap the mm. blessings. Must be, it might get small on you now. Mold can even catch it. Mm. Doesn't mean we're going to clean up. It's any other family thing that we need to clean up. Mm. Yeah. All right. The magnitude of the house. That's no, there, there's VVIP too. Then there's VIP. Okay, <laughs> VVIP. Yes. Yes. Very, very, very important, important personality. Mm. Mm. I recall that you are inspired this afternoon. I'm feeling the thing. No, you're, you're I'm feeling, feeling what you're Ms. feeling Ms. this said. weekend. No, this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside the feeling. I'm yeah, she's feeling, feeling the weekend. <laughs> she's feeling the weekend because she's so inspired. You know, I don't even have what to say. She's only <laughs> inspired. Yeah, she's inspiring me with so many things to say, Miss B. Thank you and welcome to the program this afternoon, uh, dear televiewers. Is it possible to live as an adult of about thirty years? your parents in the same house and have a private life that is our question this afternoon we know of people who live 30 35 in their fa fa father's house with their mother and their father is it possible to live in this house and have your privacy your own privacy that will be our question for this afternoon that we will try to hit our heads together to possibly see i know people who are living in this situation one but there uh, are well, so many of us that are living in this situation living in Parent house. Is it possible to live there and uh, have your own privacy? About 30, that is adult. Adult of about 30 and above. You know that there are so many things that come. You can't go out careless. You go out be like, where are you going to? Do you know that you live under my own, my roof? And so it's. <laughs> 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 
they are still their kidneys beat, no matter what. They are still their child. They are still their child. You know, my mother used to tell me that even if you think that you're big, I still look at you as if you're still one month old. <laughs> oh, Miss. <laughs> Very difficult. <laughs> You said it all. Uh, you know, in whose house? In whose house? <laughs> <laughs> house, house, house. Then you go and look for your house. Oh, has I live there? Mm. You know, my girl is behaving like those, uh, those yeah. fathers of those yeah. Yeah. parents. In the six, those parents of those say, I'm in my house. Word. I'm in that world. <laughs> yes, you are still. I'm not able to be here. Let's go. Get it on the roof. Why you want? Jenny's on the other side. <laughs> we will come and talk on that. Uh, we have so many people are facing this challenge because they can't leave their family house because they are facing a lot of problems, financial problems. You know, leaving the family. Okay, Joel has come now. <laughs> to your elbow drill pray that god gives you more strength not easy <laughs> okay time for us to go to business uh you know loving uh, we do uh, uh, innovative ideas on the onions marico and i know that that will be with you i know you have so many things yourself i think you started saying something on tuesday about it so we'll just continue with it yes i'll just brush through because it's laughter not yes we really and in the course of laughter we cry too sometimes mm -hmm. but onions to make us cry but it doesn't make us cry like the kind of cry that we're told in the morning that they are professional uh mourners, mourners. cry and cry but it's the version i would like to join natural. that thing uh, that professional mourners all right <laughs> okay he already told you how you're going to meet him so just <laughs> just go there but make sure that you remember some of us who were around <laughs> when the, the whole thing was started yeah, yes. so when you get a salary don't yes. forget your companions in the old days like to the oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Debbie, Debbie, Miss V is already owning the communication yes, right. oh. aspect of it <laughs> so you see you're complete <laughs> you're already complete you're yes you're complete, so complete. <laughs> all right let's talk about onions and innovative ideas behind onions now why was i talking about cs because onions bring but the good tears, why? Because it cleans your eyes. That's okay, the innovative that's the good thing about it. Yeah, it. People yes. don't know. You know, generally when you start chopping onions and you the tears start coming out from your eyes, you leave it. You don't want to cut it. Some deep. people really feel so uncomfortable that they stop. Yes. And they when don't I was a kid, I anymore. didn't like to cut it. I was. I always felt like it was a punishment my mm. mother was giving me. Exactly. And that's how many people also think. Mm. Even women mm. who are adults in their kitchen, while they are cooking, most of them are thinking, but leave it to flow. Don't stop it. Because some people go to the extent of rinsing uh, the uh, onions, mm -hmm. putting it inside water, uh -huh. so that they can uh, quench that flavor that mm -hmm. gives them that itchy mm -hmm. thing or that cry thing, tears mm -hmm. thing. Don't do that. Just let it flow. Why? Because it's cleaning yeah, your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, on a daily, we have our eyes always exposed mm -hmm. on many things. Like we are under the doors, we are mm -hmm. under the range, we are under the, the light wings, even. and the lights are on it and at some point the vision is weak mm. so when you cleanse it you get back your eyes mm. that's the number one mm. number one idea. eyes clean from number two is that for those who are into facials women mm -hmm. i know you like this one. yes i would like yes. this too all of us are ladies on set so you would naturally you know any time that you do oh. that thing i always go and try mm. let me just see all right <laughs> okay this is an open confession thank god i'm waiting for your own confessions at home send it to us so that we know how it's going mm. because you encourage someone to try mm. now on your face it's on TRB, you can just grind your your your, your onions mm. when you grind it on say a blender yes you have it very thick like this now you apply on your face okay on a blender yes. can you do the molinex thing if you have one okay yes just go with mm. it too even on a grinding stone why well, not you know the ground paper on that stone you wash okay. it you just wash it if you don't have any of those things Wash the blue stone very well. Very well. Mm. Brush it even with an uh, iron spoon. Mm -hmm. Brush it, then you sun it, and then you now grind mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't need much hands. You just need a little 
quantity mm -hmm. that can go around your feet because you need the juice coming out from the, the onions. Yes, the onions. Now, before you go into that, wash your face first. Okay. Yes, wash your face with cold warm water. Just wash it with normal water. Okay. Yes, fresh water. Clean it very well. This is to remove every other nyanga mm -hmm. that you have done on your face before. Now you apply it. Yeah. When you apply it, leave it there for say 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then now those who are astute participants, you understand why I'm going to because this thing is I usually transfer it to somewhere there. Yeah, hot yes. coffee. Yes, hot <laughs> coffee. So in hot coffee, astute body, if you want to have the detail, mm -hmm. now always wash hot coffee in so that it gets to that astute body. Now after that uh, twenty I just stop there. You've spoken a lot about onions. So many things that I didn't know. And I know that so many of our tele viewers equally ignore that. Do they dry onions? Bread is medicinal, it's okay. traditional onion. Yes, I know that yes. you do typhoid medicine with onion, yes. with dried onion. Yes. I do, yes, I do. So it's absolutely dry. Yes. Thank you very much, Mariko. No. We talk about facials, talk about eating good for the system, good for the hair. There are so many things you can do with onions. So don't just take onions and be cooking all the time. And all those like me who don't like eating onions and meat, please start doing it today. Don't tell me, please, please do it. Let me tell okay. I, I, I remember something at the end. Like those who cook with onions, mm -hmm. most of us cook with onions. Yes, but the error we do is that we fry. We fry it all and just <laughs> kill everything inside of mm -hmm. it. Don't fry it with your tomatoes. Okay. Put your onions at the end. Mm -hmm. well, after you've finished, why not just have the onions inside the meal? Let it be making crust mm -hmm. in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Like you feel it still mm -hmm. um, raw. Raw. Oh, yeah, see it's raw. Indeed. Exactly. That would be the best way of doing it in your rice, in your I don't know, in your lair. Mm -hmm. Everything you have to season. In tomato okay. sauce, you know, we used to fry. First of all, put the uh, or, or, or put onions. We balance the onions uh, inside, inside and before we fry it all. And then by the time we, the meal is done, just imagine that after you've done that stage, you have to put, let's say, rice. Mm -hmm. You put rice in it. Okay. The rice, the time the rice is boiling, that onion is still boiling. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you had already fried it inside mm -hmm. your. Sometimes we'll like to get brown tomatoes. even. All of that. Thank you very much, Mariko. She's spoken so much about onions. If you missed one part, join us in the night. Today is the news 10.30 to get everything about onions. I jotted everything down. If you want, you can still meet me. I'll give you everything that she said about onions. Other than cooking, you can do other things with onions that you didn't know about. You can dry, and it's used to cook typhoid medicine. You can equally use it for your hair. If you have hair that is breaking, you have to grain. You blend, and you do for your face. If you have face imperfection you know that they are oils or soaps that they sell on the market they tell you this is natural this is natural thing, but that's been transformed so instead of going for all those soaps that have been transformed then take the onions that you mix and she say you shouldn't put oil that is fatty on your face put oil that hydrates your face after when you've used the onion that will help your face when you look at your face you will obviously see the difference and um, all other things that uh, have been set for onions thank you mariko for a very edifying uh, something today as far as onions is just like when you do your own design. That's what my son does. So I'm just copying. Yeah. Every time you say thank you, he's like, most of he us, doesn't say a word. Yeah, most of us mothers <laughs> we copy some type of things. And because I, when you say that, I, <laughs> <laughs> I understand how it feels like. Thank you, very oh cool. Please be anything to add. We've ended up with onions today. Anything to add uh, as far as everything concerning onions? Cooking, cooking. Uh, I know that you are a fan. You eat consume onions oh, a lot. Yeah, Miss B, <laughs> Miss B, Miss B can shoot this page for Africa. For Africa. Yes. yes. Yeah. Anyway, everything is good. So I think we just add everything. I have nothing to add. Just eat. We like the taste. <laughs> just buy much onions. Just yes. buy much. And thank God that uh, onions are not so expensive now. You can get uh, four for two hundred francs onions that are medium sizes or even get the small small ones though some people look at those small ones as if they are not but they, they are different species and different ways of cultivating onions my course talked about all of it in the course of the week in in the heart of the city we are nine minutes past three o'clock uh miss b we do miss b what do we do cooking today oh uh, you know we've done a lot of dry sauce i wish you could have the images of the kitchen this afternoon uh well we need of uh, our a house. <laughs> There's a tie you know, very high, it's the rainy day. Yeah, all sea levels are mm -hmm. uh, high. Mm -hmm.
Kasa. Crayfish. Even not all rivers have crayfish. In us here, you will find ocean and coriander. And yeah, because that's where people dispose their waste. That's the way I wanted to. It's been in Bafusam here in the West Region. I don't see where there's a river. I always see. Did he have, they have these small, small fishes that are like uh, mackerel? Okay. No. So we want crayfish because what they use to do the pond. They use it to do the fish pond. The fish pond, yes. yes. Okay, so if you don't have a river now, let me go to this one. Because you will see how the water comes in. So all you know, a river below you, a river above you, how the water will come in. Just go there. How the mm -hmm. fresh crayfish. In those areas in the southwest and in the Oh, I'm saying they have something that they get from it. It's a raining season. Why am I coming with this? It's not the raining season. Okay, with the rain. Fresh fresh. Okay. Yes. Yes. And they can catch it from far to the beach. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why. It's even they come to the uh, river, uh, what we have here, to do the fresh fresh. Mm -hmm. Not to eat the fresh fresh. Mm -hmm. Because that's the reason why they tend to, to get fresh. So we have the crayfish, we have the coriander. So when it is dry, you can use it to cut ball something or you can try to get one. But today I think they go for the plantain leaves because it is raining plantain to the top. So I think they will use it. Um, you need to quickly get fresh and you need to quickly okay, to take off the skill. If you take off the skill, there's a way of taking off the skill. It's not very difficult. We take off with the hands. Uh, this is 
that we've done dry sauce in the course of this week. Dry sauce. I know people know of the watch free sauce. We want to make the sauce. You know, dry sauce is not generally so much. It's very small. Please, my request says she eat with plantain because it's small. She eats with rice. will not season her rice very well. So she prefers to eat with plantain uh, so that you take small sauce. And you, you can even chew one plantain, then take small sauce and put it in your mouth. Maybe for the rice does not scratch, so you can still eat it with rice. <laughs> My recall is uh, it's still dry sauce today, mm -hmm. but the difference here is plantain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, with plantain, I don't know, I always feel like I'm fishy mm -hmm. when I eat plantain. But when I eat rice, I have the impression that if I dip my leg on the floor, everything will just go down right. into my stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How can you say that? <laughs> Rice is fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it looks fluffy. Mm -hmm. Plantain is filled with yes. weight. <laughs> so when you eat plantain, you just want to drink water like you wasted it. Did you hear about a real African woman? Exactly. Mother. Very well. <laughs> oh, you can say that again. Yeah, a real African mother. Mm -hmm. Very well. Because a mother don't want to cook anything that Africa can say, no, mommy, I'm hungry. No, you mm -hmm. eat at words. You don't disturb anybody. Exactly. <laughs> when you've eaten that plantain, <laughs> you will go. You will not want to even pass around yes. again. The only thing they'll pass around for is water. Water, yes, drink, yes, yes. Because that plantain will keep pushing them to come and ask mm -hmm. for water. Mm -hmm. I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. It can, plantain can make a kid to stay like the whole day. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I want to take an example of snacks. Mm -hmm. When you give kids snacks. Yes. Yes, when I give my kids snacks, plantain mm -hmm. especially, that's the bright mm -hmm. version. He come back and he, when he comes back, he doesn't ask for anything again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he almost sleeps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because he's really feeling Food. Yes, so that's why I like plantain. It's consistent. It goes well. Oh, I don't know. There are so many. We are, we are looking for all <laughs> Pepsi. I say so you are a, you are a real African mother. <laughs> we, we cannot. You know, we cannot best do you, that. See, right? Miss B will say no on ripe plantain. You know, she also up for rice, but she says the strong plantain you eat too. You know, that's that's <laughs> yes. That give the pepper. Give enough pepper. Drink water. Thank you for that reminder. Very tasty. I agree. I was still eating. Miss, you know that as you start eating, maybe it's hot. As time goes by, ah, the paper doesn't mean anything to you again. You just continue eating. It doesn't work. <laughs> the paper secret sometimes you see is busy. It does not always work. Maybe for the kids, for the smaller ones, but for those who are a little bit grown up, <laughs> to tell you that that paper like that, it doesn't do anything to them. <laughs> it's like using pepper as a very good pretext. Mm -hmm. Like you're giving a kid cheese mm -hmm. and you're telling him that there's pepper. pepper inside because you don't want <laughs> to eat. <laughs> yes, or there's bone. I used to have that problem from the. You like, cook corn fufu. Bone. You cook corn fufu. There's Say, mommy, inside. there's pepper. I cannot eat this. Oh, food. there's bone inside. <laughs> there's, bo <laughs> there's bone inside fufu. How did bone manage to enter the corn fufu? Because they don't want to eat. Children are really, really funny. <laughs> Thank you, Miss <laughs> Uh We are just a few minutes to go. Uh, we talk on the question of today. Miss B, you already started talking about something. So, is it possible to live as an adult of about 30, or let's say more than 30, with your parents in the same house and have a private life? Yeah, you can still have understanding parents now. No, it's not possible. You, you know the adult mm. is the present one that is in a position where you can be determined mm. that it's not possible. Okay, you have anything to... you do for adults. Okay. But again, you must be kind or that the parents can consent to mm. them living for their parents. That is the whole of it. Because imagine the income to be required to mm. have a family that is going to be loved and cared for. But you mm. can tell them to do things for their parents. So at one point in time, mm. Maybe it's when Africa that. <laughs> that the child is grown up and supposed to. Some parents have been calling their children babies when they were small. Even when they grow up, they thirty, they're still calling them babies. Even fifty. Ah, I'm not problem with that. Oh, it's your baby. 
Yeah, you can look for their own house now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If you are right to do so, if, if you are right to do so, then you are doing your own duty well. Then you will not be questioning or you will be thinking that you have all the resources, the materials, and so on, and so forth. You are ready to build all the backup mm-hmm. and the good place spiritually and so on. You can have it. You can be ten of them for your initial expenditure. You are right. You too. Mm-hmm. Miss B, you, you, you'll you be like, uh, look at your mates, your mates are out there, they are walking, you're there, it's easy. Parents have the time to even be caring for every child in their own home. Mm-hmm. Every child has to be on her own. Pick your child the way you will remember the best. Every child has, you know, they know the same thing. Mm-hmm. The child can be, yeah, their mates are, don't compare them. I don't like comparing. Parents are fond of comparing. One matter is charity. If you see that it's a burden to you, you go for the best and best you shall be found. No you all that answer. you can do to be a good person. You you step to with your child and so on. But if I see that it's not a burden to me, why I should feel in fact it's their company? It's not a problem for me to support a person who's living in a place like that. So is it your money? What's your problem? Oh, your mother is still cooking. <laughs> Are you jealous that your, your mother is still washing your dresses? Are you jealous? <laughs> how many of you? Yes, how many of you are treating your mom? Oh, I want to salute all the mothers that you know, fathers who treaty your child to cook you that one thing. So it's still too much. Yeah, it doesn't mean that she's spoiling the child because yes, no, we we're not in people's home. Feeling is just part of the compassion. Not the doesn't mean the child is bad. Bad person too doesn't mean the child is any good. Yes, it's true. Maybe Love for family. Love for, you know, that too, a single woman, a single Love for brother and sister. Ah, when you see brother, that is, no, you know, they are comparing because I'm not like you. You are already too. So my, what I want in my home, you will <laughs> until you tell you all that you are extra, I want you when you were small. So can you feel me for them? Exactly, Miss B, it will be like, I took care of you, now it's your turn to you take know, care of me. If that's why you are taking care of me, that is not my problem. Which I know. Thank you very much, Miss B. We would like to have as well at this on the side because he had been having serious problems this week. We hope that he can possibly come and we are not having a feedback of everything we are doing. As well, are we together? I think he has some issues to the other way. Uh, we hope he will get a message that we are not having a feedback of everything we are doing here. And we will really need to have the feedback of what we are doing at this other side. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. B, for your point of view on this question. This afternoon, I would like to turn over. You know, there are parents who are very, uh, they always want to ask a number of things like, no, your 30s, your mates are out there. Ms. B said, don't compare because... Each, no child, no two children have the same star. Each child has his own star. Don't compare the same children that you have. The big, the kid brother might succeed. The other brother does not. Not all children are the same. And all children were meant to have the same destiny. That's one thing you should know. And you should make the child to understand that I am taking care of you today. Tomorrow you have to do it. It's not an obligation. It is for lunch.
Thank you very much, Miss V, for your point of view. Very intelligent one. That's why you're a very intelligent woman. Please, Marie Cola, I said over to you. Uh, this is the. How do I call you this afternoon? You know, you do like this our mothers. You, 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 you portray exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you portray general exactly general in all yeah. Because I remember that the there were things that concern <laughs> issues that will be pampering kids. Yeah. I'm not there. You're not there. I'm 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 not there. i am not there 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 parents house they, they i'll check myself first now i'll begin by checking myself mm -hmm. sometimes it's even the parents who are accommodating you very well mm -hmm. that you are feeling so comfortable that you don't want to go anywhere yeah, you don't want that's to why i have to make life a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> to do the kids so that you start thinking of <laughs> being comfortable <laughs> yes i know many mothers out there will be like this one is she's too stern <laughs> on her kids yes the, i'll only say what i, I got <laughs> <laughs> What exactly got. what we got. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I got. I'll give out what I got. Rather than coming and behaving like I'm a white so woman here. No, no, Miss no, B. Miss B. You, you surely know what you are doing. No, Miss B is a lenient mother. Yes. She's a lenient. She's she accommodating. Mm. She, she, she pampers. But it's still good, Miss B, because you are representing those that are lenient. Ali. Yes, so we cannot all be fighting for the same cause. So it's good you are still working out the, the deal well. But my recall, even if I leave, it is my father's house now. Am I not supposed to feel free in his house? No. Your father's house up to 30 years. That means that you want to... This thing, eh, there's something. Imagine. Mm -hmm. let's, let's take an example. Okay. There's an example where you have started the child's life. You've taken them up to primary school, secondary school, university. Mm -hmm. As from university level, for those who have the opportunity to go to university, university. because some people don't have the opportunity, mm -hmm. but they get into activity. Yes. Yes. The active economic life. activity. Or they even go to I don't know they, they even go to uh, say professional schools mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they go to professional schools okay. so if they happen to go to professional schools or to university school to university mm -hmm. level they learn how to be independent at this level and because, because they start living in their houses, houses before going, before to, going to school mm -hmm. now while they are at, at home they are seeing their friends in class who equally have rooms mm -hmm. that they are struggling mm -hmm. in this room they have to pay their bills mm -hmm. some of these kids are in university they are in universities <laughs> and they are they are struggling as well mm -hmm. to do little businesses mm -hmm. to accommodate themselves, mm -hmm. pay their maybe uh buy their their photocops, mm -hmm. uh for the handouts in school. Exactly. Uh, All of those pay things. some of their bills, even some food sometimes for the house. And even this, the, 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 the bills for the mm -hmm. house, they still get mm -hmm. it from all of this. Why not you? That means that somewhere the parents will pay somewhere. Yeah. Yes, because that's where I'm, I wanted to learn on. Mm. That this kid, let's not only look at the kid alone mm. in their square. Mm. The parents too did something. Mm. They've been giving them, come and suck. Come on, come and lie here. Mm. Come on. The kid just cries, mommy, my head is aching. And you're already rushing to send money to them, mm. wherever they are. Send them, teach them how to be strong. strong. Yes. It's not like you're negating them. Mm. But you're telling them that in this world, get milk and honey mm -hmm. you need to fight mm -hmm. in order to get the milk mm -hmm. and honey so 30 years you're in my house i will start making reminding you in a very nice way that in your own sweet you know you know we have to you, you have to start thinking of something mm -hmm. now see, see for example see, see, I, I know how mothers behave mm -hmm. like i'm one of them but i might not have as big experience as the ones that have kids who are 30 mm -hmm. because i don't yet have a kid that is even up to you know 15 so I'm only struggling mm. to, to understand some of these parents. Mm. Like, mm. you can have a very nice way of telling her, like, mm. my daughter, see, she, you see the way that you're treating her now. You see the way she, she, she came here like that. When she came back, mm. she got milk from her mm. mother. Mm. Yes, and it's because she comes to a small village that she's staying here and there. Why not 
just don't think of something in that light. It's a nice way of putting it. But I know the other harsh mother that will say it in, a, in an angered way. Like, what are you serving me in this house? You've been in this house all this while you're occupying space, hey. empty space, and a lot of things are happening. And you eat my food. You sleep on my bed. And sometimes you're even complaining that the food I've given you is small. Oh, yes, I'm not even cooking well. <laughs> and all of that. What are you doing in that house for crying out loud? I am in my mother's house, hmm. my father's house. Go hey, back okay. to your father's house. Go and walk out. Walk <laughs> something out so that you would feel valorized by your parents. Mm. I don't mean that when a kid is already at that stage, mm -hmm. the parents should start pushing. Because some parents push to the extent that a girl kid goes and starts looking for men yes, exactly. out there. They start, prostitu they start prostituting because they want to come and help their parents. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about constructive autonomy. Mm -hmm. That you're pushing the kids to be autonomous in a very constructive manner mm -hmm. and morally brought up to, well brought up. Because even if you put up, put out a kid out there to be out of anger, the kid who is morally right, oh, right. Yes. would be fine. Mm -hmm. They would never fall in wrong hands. Yes. But the one that they are just somehow, somehow, they will go and join any kind of gang in order to make it. And mind you, Cynthia, you can push your kids out there mm -hmm. and they come back with a gang to fight you and get money from you. That's true. So let's look for very, let's take it. Thank you very much, Mariko. We should do things. It's true, it's important that you encourage your child to get something to do at the age of 30, but there's a way to do it. We shouldn't let our children get into this uh, potty money match. This, <laughs> that's one of the things that children get themselves into because they absolutely want to make something for themselves. Before you know it, they say your child's running mad somewhere. And you say, oh, had I known. I know of a case of a lady, what happened is that she pushed her child out at the age of 22, and the child died at 30. Because the child got, got himself into some mysterious, because he wanted to have money and he went and involved himself with people that were higher than him. And before he knew, he died. When he had the accident, they were taking him to the hospital. He asked that, why are they taking him to the hospital for? He knows that he's going to die. So there are things that we shouldn't do. Even if your child is 30, it's true you will not have privacy, but there's a way that a parent is going to encourage you. There are parents who compare their children to the, or some others, but we are not encouraging that. You as a parent, it, it's difficult for you, it's true. We are Africans, and we know the way things are. You should be able to entrust them, take them the, the little way, like my call is saying, and then before you know it, you get through it. But it's important to know that it is. <laughs> it's important to know that uh, it is very difficult living with your parents uh, above the age of uh, thirty. Thirty-two minutes past. Oh, we are above time. We have to leave. Uh, Miss B, I wish you a wonderful weekend. You're already into the weekend mood. <laughs> things are going to happen. <laughs> no, the rain has stopped. Like, it's so uh, think of the rain before you fly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Mariko, you have a nice weekend. You know, you're already in a weekend color. You know, it's Friday. Mm. I have my umbrella, you know. Everything is okay. <laughs> you have your umbrella. Yes, I can chip, I can chip it for, for me wants to fly yeah, oh. yes i can borrow her if we're in winter mm -hmm. but elegantly i'm getting into the weekend yeah she's elegantly getting, pure yeah in the elegantly pure she's getting the weekend and exactly. miss b to elegantly pure get into the weekend mm -hmm. next week uh, miss b will take the seat for your program in the heart of the city it has been a delight being with you in the course of